Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Mathematic Girls Party 3226. So as you can see, uh, I'm back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to basically cover a very basic concept, which is decimal numbers. So in this video, I'm just not going to cover the entire decimal numbers. It's just I'm going to cover decimal numbers and types of decimal numbers. There are a lot of things that you have to study in decimal numbers. So for that, I'm going to make another video. So in this particular video, just decimal numbers, its basics and its types. Okay, so let's start the video. For that, let me share my screen. And yes, I hope my screen is visible. And let's start with the video. So decimal numbers, basically, what are decimal numbers? Decimals, uh, like how these decimal numbers have come. So these decimal numbers are actually on the number line, okay? Normally, when we studied about number line, we knew that on number line, we have just, you know, natural numbers, whole numbers. And then later on, we studied that on uh, number line, we have natural numbers, whole numbers, negative numbers, positive number, of course, neutral number, which is zero. We studied all these types, right? Later on, we also studied that on that number line, we also have another type of number, which is called a rational number. What are rational number? Rational number are the numbers in the form of P by Q, where P and Q are integers and Q is not equal to zero. And there is more, one more condition to that, and that is P and Q should be co-prime. Now, how decimal numbers? Where are the decimal numbers? So let me tell you, the decimal numbers are like, you know, just a rational number only it's just it's another way to represent it okay in decimal form so basically decibels are one of those type of numbers which has a whole number and the fractional part separated by a decimal point for example i'm just writing here 34.7 so you can see here, okay, let me use another pen. Yes. So it is 34.7. So first of all, you can see this dot here, right? So before this dot, the number 34 is a whole number, whole 34. And after decimal, the number is fraction, okay? So this dot present between this whole number and the fraction part is called the decimal point. Okay, now, what is the meaning of this whole and decimal? I'll just make you understand very quickly. We know the place values. We know about place values, right? So forget about 0.7. Imagine you have 34. So what is the place value of this 4? The place value of this 4 is 1. What is the place value of this 3? It is 10. Now, what is the place value of this 7? Is it 1s, 10s, 100s? What is it? I'll tell you what is it. First of all, whenever we talk about the place values, if we move from left to right, the value decreases. That means from left to right, the order of the place value is in decreasing order. This one is tens. This one is ones. And the next one should be even smaller than one, right? Earlier it was like this one is 10. Now smaller than that, one. Now, smaller than 1, that is 1 upon 10. And that we call as 10th. Okay. So, this, the place value of this is 10th. And how do we write down 10th? It is 1 upon 10. Okay. That is why after decimal, this 7 is called fractional number, fractional part, because the place value is 1 upon 10. So, if you do the expanded form, it simply becomes 3 into 10, right? plus 4 into 1, plus 7 into 1 upon 10. And that is why the number before the decimal that is representing the whole number. It's the whole 34. But after decimal, it is not 7. It is 7 upon 10. And we know that 7 upon 10 is a fraction. That is why it is a fractional part. Okay. So I hope the meaning of decimal number is clear. Now let's come to its types okay so when i'm talking about the types of decimal numbers i'll tell you uh, the 
two types. Mainly we divide the decimals into one type is called terminating decimal. Okay, this we call as terminating decimals. And the second one is called non-terminating decimals. Now, what is the meaning of terminating and non-terminating? I'll clear this out. So, now because it is taking too long to write down terminating decimal, non-terminating decimal, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use TD for terminating decimal and for non-terminating decimal, NTD. Okay. So, now let me explain about terminating decimal. There is more in this, okay, but I'll tell you this later on. Terminating decimal, for example, if you have this number, 10 divided by uh, 4. So, let's divide this and let's see how we can convert this into decimal. So, this is 4 and this is 10. So, this will become 4 times 2, 8. 10 minus 8 is 2 and now, why do we need to convert it into decimal? Because we don't want remainder to be a non-zero number. I want to bring the denominator as zero. So to bring the denominator as zero, what are we going to do? We are going to put a decimal over here and then we are going to put a zero. And then four times five is 20. Can you see that we have now got the remainder zero? And this 2.5 is an answer. Now, you can see here that this is 2.5. We got the remainder 0 and the quotient stops here. It terminates here. Terminates and stops, they are synonyms of each other. So that is why because it is getting terminated at a particular number, it will go in terminating decimals. So therefore, 2.5 is an example of a terminating decimal. Okay. It gets terminated after a certain point and it got terminated just after one uh, like after decimal only one digit right now let's take an example of non-terminating decimal for example i want to do 10 divided by 3 right so let's divide this 3 and this is 10 now this will become 3 times 3 9 10 minus 9 is 1 now of course you're going to put a decimal then 0 now this will become 3 times 3 9 10 minus 9, 1. And then there is a rule which I'm going to uh, make you understand quickly. That if you have put a decimal, so in every next step, in every row, you are allowed to put a 0. Okay, so again, I'm going to put a 0 here. And then again, 3 times 3, 9. So it will become, I'm writing it here, 10 minus 9, 1. Again, because of this decimal, I can put 0. Again, 3, 9. And do you realize that it will go on, right? It is not going to terminate anywhere. And because it is not going to terminate anywhere, it is a non-terminating decimal. So you can also write down this particular answer as, because you don't know where it is getting stopped. Actually, it is not going to be stopped anywhere. So the answer is 3.3333. And it goes on and on, right? But there is a way to write down or to represent this particular decimal in a way and that is you can just write down whatever number is getting repeated after decimal. You just have to put a bar on it. So it will become 3.3 .3 bar. Why the bar is on 3? Because 3 is getting repeated. So that is why you can simply represent it by 3.3 .3 bar. For example, suppose you have an answer 6.6363, and so on. So here you can see that 6.3 is getting repeated, right? You can see that it is, let me just mark this for you so that you can understand in a better way. So after decimal, you can see here that 6.3, 6, 3, 6, 3, 6, 3. After this, even 6, 3, 6, 3, 6, 3 is coming. So because this 6, 3 is getting repeated, we are going to put a bar on the top of 6, 3. Not just on 3 or not just on 6, but on 6, 3. So this is a non-terminating decimal, right? 6.63.
Now, we studied about two types of decimals, terminating decimal and non-terminating decimal. I hope it is clear that what are terminating decimals and what are non-terminating decimals. Now, there are some more to decimals. So, decimals are of two types, terminating decimals, which I'm writing as TD, and non-terminating decimals. Now, from non-terminating decimals, we have two types, and that is non-terminating repeating decimals, okay? There is another name for repeating and that is recurring, okay? So repeating and recurring, they are same. Now, because I have not written this like once, so I'm going to write down once so that you can understand what it is. So it is non, it is like, you know, like these are two types of non-terminating decimals and that, and that is non-terminating non-terminating repeating decimals instead of repeating if you want you can also use the word recurring so non-terminating repeating or recurring decimals and another type is non-terminating non-repeating decimals okay or non-recurring decimals let me write down the full form for this as well so this is non terminating non repeating non terminating non repeating or recurring decimals again i'm going to use the short form now so yes so earlier we studied that there are two types of decimal not terminating and non terminating now from non terminating we have another two types non-terminating repeating and non-terminating non-repeating decimals. Now, let me tell you what is the difference between non-terminating repeating and non-terminating non-repeating. Okay. So, uh, let me write down here an example like 2.456456456456456 four, and so on. It means again 456, 456, 456 is coming. First of all, is it terminating, non terminating? Very clear, it is terminating, right? So, non terminating, I'm extremely sorry, it is non terminating, right? So, this we can write down as two point, the number that is getting repeated, and that is 456, 456, 456, 456, and so on. So, the Bar will come on 456. Now, it is non-terminating. But can you see that the number is repeating? 456, 456, 456, 456. It does not terminate, but it gets repeated. 2.456, 456, 456. And such kind of decimals are called non-terminating, repeating decimals. Because it is getting repeated. It's as simple as that. It does not terminate. It is not going to terminate anywhere. This 456 will just go on forever, right? That is why it is called non-terminating. But because the digits are repeating, it is called non-terminating repeating. Now, let's come to another example. Suppose your answer is 3.146734298765111. Two, three, seven. I'm just taking this for rand as a random example. Okay, I'm not saying that this one is an answer for any particular division question. I'm just make, trying to make you understand the difference between non-terminating repeating decimals and non-terminating non-repeating decimals. So, for example, I have a division question, and for which when I'm doing the division, I'm getting an answer like three point one four six seven three four two nine eight seven six five one one two three seven five. 3096523 and so on. We have to like, we have to stop doing it, right? It is not getting stopped, but we have to stop after a certain point and we can just denote it as dot, 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 dot right? Can you see, uh, like, is it possible to put a bar on any number? Can you see any pattern? No, there are no patterns. There is no, there is no number which is getting repeated in a fixed manner. No. It is like 14673. It's random, right? But it is non-terminating, right? So such type of decimals where the numbers are not repeating, 
but it is of course non terminating as well that means it is not getting stopped anywhere such types of decibels are called non terminating non repeating or recurring okay remember repeating recurring they are almost same so it is non terminating non repeating uh, decibels and that's it so i hope you understood the type of decibels now in this particular video i have just covered the decimals the, the basics of decimals and the types of decimals now in the second part of the video i'm going to solve some questions on decimals okay so i can just give you a hint of what kind of questions i'm going to do first i'm going to uh, teach you how to do addition in decimals how to do subtraction in decimals how to do the multiplication in decimal and how to do division in decimal but there is one thing that i want to teach you just right now that if you want to convert any fraction into decimal and if you have the numbers in the form of 10 100 1000 10000 10, lakh 10 lakh like these kind of numbers with the zeros in the denominator there is a very simple way to convert it into a decimal so let me make you understand how for example if you have a question 2 upon 10 so what is its decimal form remember this rule is only applicable when you have the numbers of the type 10 100000 and etc so this will become you have to write down the numerator as it is of course this is part is called numerator and this part is called denominator so numerator as it is and now count the number of zeros it is 1 so from the right side count 1 so it is 1 and then put a decimal normally we don't write down the answer as 0.2 it is also correct but we just to look at just to make it uh, you know uh, nice I, we just put a zero so 0.2 for example if i'm taking this example 3 upon 100 what is in the numerator write down first that number so it is 3 now count the number of zeros 1 2 so from the right side that means from this side 1 2 whatever number of zeros from the right side 1 2 and then decimal now what about this blank what are you going to put here of course zero so the answer is 0.03 now let's take another example for example you have 53 upon 10 so what is the rule the rule is you have to write down the numerator as it is so it is 53 now count the number of zeros only one so from the right side one and then put a decimal so the answer is 5.3 Now let's take one more example. Uh, two hundred and fifteen upon thousand, ten thousand. Let's take. Okay. So what is in the numerator? Two hundred and fifteen. What is in the denominator? Like how many zeros are in the denominator? One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, and then decimal. So the answer is zero point. In this blank, you have to put a zero. so the answer for this is 0.0215 that's it i'm going to stop now as i said that i'm going to make another video for this uh, you know uh, questions on decimals how to solve the questions on decimals so yes in this video that is it i hope you understood about the basics of decimals and the types of decimals and the last part as well where i just made you understood how to divide the decimals like how to divide the fraction and convert it into decimal if we have the numbers of the type 10 100000 uh 10000 and so on so yes that is it thank you so much for watching my videos if you have watched this video if you have liked it do subscribe to my channel thank you so much